and over 30 master tapes believed to possibly be unreleased death row music from MC Hammer, DJ Quick, and even Snoop Dogg. But the guys who bought the storage unit still aren't 100% convinced. I got this unit in Tracy, California. A TikTok user posting storage unit finds, possibly hitting the lottery after buying a storage unit in Tracy filled with clothes and master tapes that they believe belong to three-time Grammy winner MC Hammer. And those are the red pants, supposedly worn in one of the videos. In the pictures, it just looked like a bunch of clothes laying in the back of the unit. We buy them all the time, a little $5 no-brainer, pick it up for five, make you 100 200 bucks, and move on about your business, and this one just happened to be different. Inside the storage unit were designer clothes, an old Mac computer, and over what are believed to be 30 master tapes labeled Death Row Records, MC Hammer, G-Man, and Snoop Dogg. But the buyers are still not totally convinced they're legit. Until I actually hear from MC Hammer himself or Snoop Dogg, I don't believe it, you know, people claim claiming to be managers, but all we have is the documentation, the tapes, and people are contacting me affiliated with them, so obviously something's going on to where it's related. The guys who bought the unit that went to auction, Alex Stevens and Andrew Cordova, also known on TikTok as Central Valley Picker, say they have been in contact with officials claiming to be from Death Row Records, the music label who MC Hammer was signed to back in the 90s, about acquiring some of this stuff, but they have not yet agreed on a deal. Both Stevens and Cordova believe what they have could be worth millions, a massive opportunity from a unit they paid $30 for. It's amazing, to be honest, it's amazing. You just don't know, you don't, you don't know what you're gonna find when you get inside the unit, but this is probably one of our most amazing finds. Now on X, at Coco underscore Flames posted, quote, my mom's favorite, at MC Hammer. Is it true, dude on TikTok got all your masters and stuff from a storage unit for 50 bucks? Are you going to get it back? And in response, a verified account that had the handle at MC Hammer, you can see it right there, said, if this be truth that a man spent $50 for such a gift, are they not his? God bless him. Of course, Nikki, we did reach out to MC Hammer and Death Row Records over social media, but have not yet heard back. Today, a former Death Row Records producer sharing his two cents after a pair of friends bought a storage unit in Tracy for 30 bucks, only to find a piece of hip hop history inside. 30 master tapes are believed to be unreleased music from MC Hammer. Grand Force spoke with former Death Row Records producer Craig Williams, who says he was the producer of this unreleased music. He says he always wondered where this particular album and those tapes wound up. He believes there's 14 songs in total, which feature the likes of Snoop Dogg, Tupac, and DJ Quick. I know that those tapes are the tapes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw the uh, I saw the track sheets and stuff, and I recognize the handwriting. I know the songs. I know the engineers, the producers that are on those tapes and in the files and on the track sheets. So they are real. That's the real deal. Of course, I would want it to be released. Give me my credits. <laughs> you know. That's pretty incredible. And Williams did reach out to members of Death Row Records, who say they have been in contact with the friends from Modesto, who now own the unit with the music inside. So the deal hasn't heard from MC Hammer recently directly, but Hammer allegedly posted a quote on his social media recently saying something along the lines of, if a man finds and spends money for such a gift, are they not his? Maybe hinting at the duo to keep the contents. Oh, incredible.